Hey guys, it is October 12th, 2015, and I'm back again with another video. This is going to be a game collection update. I'm very excited to show you guys this stuff today. Got a lot of really cool stuff. Um, PS4, Xbox One, Wii U, uh, 3DS, got some um, boxed NES stuff, regular Nintendo, just cart only stuff, um, tons of new Amiibos. I was really excited to show you, stuff, show you guys this stuff. Um, this actually just came in the mail. It is Dragon Quest Heroes, the Slime Collector's Edition. I was very excited to get this. I'm excited to crack it open. I, I believe it doesn't come out until tomorrow. Um, so it's actually cool kind of getting it a day in advance. I'm curious about the special edition. I like a lot of special editions. Um, this one comes with a collectible treasure chest. Um, the game itself, a, a five inch slime plush, a slime keychain, and then a lanyard. So I don't know if it was worth if it was worth the extra cash, but I think I might do an unboxing of this by itself. Um, next up, I uh, wanted to spend some time talking about this. It is uh, Super Mario Maker on the Wii U. Um, as you can see, this is the outer cardboard box that it comes in. In that cardboard box, you get the regular game case, and then it comes with a pretty thick, it was a thin little book, but it's it has a bunch of different art and a bunch of different ideas to use in the in the game. Give you some ideas. Cool that they packed that in there. I did want to spend some time talking about this. This game is fantastic. <laughs> Probably the funnest game I've played in a long, 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 long time. Um, if you enjoyed Super Mario 1, if you enjoyed Super Mario 3, if you enjoyed um, Super Mario World, if you enjoyed the new Mario games, if you enjoyed any of those at all, it's basically, it's endless Super Mario. Because they have... They have lots of little uh, mini courses that they made in here, and then you have everyone in the world that's making their own Super Mario courses. Some of them are super, super, super hard. Um, some of them are easy. Everything in between, you've got courses where people will say, don't touch anything. And you'll start, and you'll hit a spring, and you'll bounce up into another spring. You know, you'll bounce all around, and you'll hit, you'll go through an entire course around a billion different obstacles without even touching anything. Little roller coaster rides like that. Um, everything you can imagine with Super Mario Brothers, it's awesome. It's, I can't put into words how awesome it is. You have Super Mario 3, endless Super Mario 3. Super Mario Brothers 3 is ever, a lot of people's favorite games. You have unlimited Super Mario 3 levels. I, I can't point out how awesome this is, how exciting this is, and how many hours you can spend playing this. You will get your money's worth. If you don't have a Wii U, buy a Wii U. You can play some Smash Brothers, you can play some Mario Kart, and you can play Super Mario Maker. Definitely worth getting. Definitely worth your money. Alright, I'll stop praising that game now, even though it deserves it. I'll move on to the next one. I'll show you this. It is the Metal Gear. Metal Gear Solid 1 is my favorite game of all time. Um, so, as you can imagine, I was excited for Super, Super Mario, for Metal Gear Solid 5. Um, this is the special edition. As you can see, it's got the Diamond Dogs logo there. It's got a cool little box. When you open it up, it's got Big Boss's prosthetic hand in, hand in there. I believe it's a half-scale hand. All right. And then inside that box, you actually get a cool steel book. You can see the art for you guys that love steel books. It's definitely a cool one. And then inside, it's got an exclusive Blu-ray, making of Blu-ray. Has a big spoiler warning on it, so I'm not going to open that quite yet. Watch it quite yet because I'm only about 25 chapters in to the game, but I am enjoying it so far. And I played the, like I said, I played the first about 25 chapters, and this I just got this. I'm going to try to play the next few levels with this. The it's the hardback collector's edition guide. It's got like 46 pages of cool art. I'm excited to check that out, and then just see all the hints and all the um, surprises that you miss and all that stuff. I'm excited about that. Um, next up, let's run through some 3DS games before we go. Um, got Chibi Robo Ziplash. This is the little bundle that comes with the little um, amiibo. Excited to play that. Also, let's see. Go through some 3DS titles. Picked up Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask 3D. Mario Kart 7. Super Mario Land 3D, and Animal Crossing New Leaf. Um, Alright, before I get to those, some Xbox One games. Um, one that I missed, Assassin's Creed Black Flag. Got that really cheap. 
Oh, another very cool one. Rare Replay. Definitely worth checking out. It's got 30 games on here. Um, if you want to play Conker's Bad Fur Day, get this. <laughs> if you don't feel like shelling out the money for the 64 copy, you want to play Conker, and you have an Xbox One, pick this up. There's also Banjo-Kazooie, um, Battletoads, um, tons of Solar Jetman, Jet Force Gemini, um, Blast Corps, RC Pro-Am, Viva Pinata. Um, lots of really cool stuff on here. Definitely worth checking out. I believe you can get this for 20-ish bucks now. It came out, it was 30 bucks. So 20 to 30 bucks for 30 games, including Conquerors. That's going to cost you an arm and a leg. Definitely check it out. It's got, it's all awesome rare games. Check them out. Uh, got a PS4 title, Evolve. I think my favorite part of this game may be the actual slipcover. If you can see, I don't know if you can tell, it's got a cool embossed slipcover where the footprint is. Um, the game is a little different than what I expected, uh, but I enjoyed it so far. And I don't know, maybe I showed you this in the last update. I don't know, but there it is, nonetheless. Um, got some Wii titles. Uh, Metroid Prime 3 Corruption. It's complete. As well as Metroid Other M. I don't know if you guys like to see the actual inside. Alright, um, one that I've been wanting to play since it came out that I've just never got around to. I found it for cheap. Trauma Center uh, Second Opinion Atlas title. And another one that's I should have owned that was missing from my collection. Super Mario Galaxy Complete. And then I got a cool GameCube title that I've been looking for. Pokemon XD Gale of Darkness. It's complete as well. Definitely excited to crack into that one. Love Pokemon. Excited to check that out. Um, I was I also found um, Pokemon Coliseum on eBay, and I got outbid, so that sucks. But all right, um, next one I've got a I've got a ton of amiibos that I'm going to show you at the very end that I was very excited about. I'm going to run through some cheaper titles really quick, and then we'll get to the NES stuff. Nothing too special though. Um, Halo Four to get ready for Halo Five. Check that out. Um, a series that I had missed that I've heard great things about were the Uncharted series, and I wanted to play those. So finally pick those up for cheap. Uncharted 1, Drake's Fortune, Uncharted 2, Among Thieves, Uncharted 3, Drake's Deception. Uh, you got some CIB complete in box um, NES titles just to knock them off the list. Nothing too special. Uh, Major League Baseball, NES Play Action Football. Faces Loaded 1, and everyone's favorite game, Anticipation. <laughs> Alright, um, we'll get to the NES carts, and then we will get through all the very cool Amiibos I was very excited about. A messed up label version of Miss Pac-Man. Gauntlet, really enjoy that game. Wizards and Warriors. And again guys, these are just some cheaper titles just to knock off my list. A Vegas Dream. WrestleMania Brother. Uh, maybe we shouldn't show Hulk Hogan on this channel with all the flack he's getting lately. Um, the Adventure of Bayou Billy. And Double Dribble. Alright, now that we're through those, I'm very excited to show you these Amiibos. Um, first up is going to be Wave 5B. Um, I went out the morning that these came out, um, got lucky, picked them all up that morning. wasn't too difficult. Uh, first up is Zero Suit Samus, as well as the Toys R Us exclusive Bowser Jr. Um, this one's really cool, I thought. The 8-bit classic Mario, it's pixelated, cool Mario. Very excited to have that one in the collection. Um, Target exclusive Dr. Mario. Olimar. He's got some Pikmin with him. And then got Ganon. And that's it for Wave 5B that I picked up. Um, then about a week later, the Retro 3 pack came out, which has got Rob the Robot, Mr. Game & Watch, which has several different um, poses that you can put them in. There's a couple different ones you can replace them with. And then the Duck Hunt, Dog, and Bird. 
very excited to have that. Um, you don't have much duck hunt merchandise out there these days. All right. Then, after that, I found out that they were doing the restocks with Amiibos. If you, I'm sure if you're an Amiibo fan, you're up on this and you know what happened. But they did some reprints, and I was excited to get to the store and pick out some of these. Um, I went to Toys R Us and found Fox, which I was missing. Then went over to Best Buy, and they had Little Mac. Um, next up is Captain Falcon. Lucario. Marth. Dark Pit. And my personal favorite, Shulk from Xenoblade. Very excited to have those. Alright guys, that is everything this time. I think I'm going to do another video doing an unboxing of the Dragon Quest game. I also have a Blu-ray and DVD collection update that I should be filming right after this. Um, thanks a lot guys for watching and subscribing. Um, I appreciate all your uh, comments and messages that I get. Thanks a lot guys for watching. See you guys soon. Bye.